Episode 239. Quest for you is on. And you're here, so let's get to it. Probably like many of you, I've been a bit shocked about the recent news of celebrity suicides. It always leaves me thinking a bit when people that seem to have it all in their life. A life that, to me, appears complete, at least from the outside. But then, of course, I know better. And that money and fame is not everything that is important in order to be happy. But it's always the first thought that comes to mind when I hear of famous people ending their lives. People that have all the resources one could imagine. Why are they not using them to seek the help they need? I think the answer to my question, and maybe it's also your question, lies in this quote from Rumi. The wound is the place where the light enters you. When someone commits suicide, they are in a place of darkness and they are unable to see the light. All the riches in the world cannot help someone see the light. The light is within each and every one of us and we all have access to it. But sometimes that access is blocked. It's too dark and we cannot find the light. This quote along with the sad news, inspired me to share this simple yet powerful message with all of you today. There is light in darkness. Rumi is right. Some of the greatest accomplishments people have achieved came out of the struggle against darkness. But not everyone wins the battle. Those that decide to end their life, they gave up. And it's very sad to me. Because I believe that we're all meant to live a happy and fulfilled life. It's not our destiny to come into this world and cut our life short. No matter how hard it is sometimes. And it is often very hard. We all go through challenging times. Every single person, poor or rich, famous or not. We all suffer at one point or another. But it's important that we try to find the light in every darkness that we don't give up, that we don't succumb to the idea that there is no way out. There is a way out. There is a way through. It's not always easy, and it takes work. But the key is understanding that the light is not anywhere outside. In the next job, or the new car, or the bigger house, more money, more power, more followers. These are not the answers to our darkness. Our darkness lives on the inside. That's where it builds up, when our feelings are hurt, when we cannot find our way in life, when we don't know what to do with the difficult experiences that we have, where to file them, how to understand and digest them, and how to apply them. We stuff them in, push them aside, we ignore them, or sometimes we just battle with them day in and day out. They plague us, they won't leave us alone, and that means we have to deal with them. And just like the darkness is on the inside, the light is on the inside as well. We cure the problem at its source. This quote by author Schopenhauer describes it well. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. The lights on the outside often shine much brighter and look more promising. They seem like an easy fix. Pay some money and it will be done. But in and of themselves, they are not the real answer to the darkness that we experience within. It requires us to turn inward and look for the light. The quest for you is that very quest. The quest for light, the quest for purpose, the quest for meaning and answers. Whether you experience darkness or just want to be your best self, it requires looking inside. And while this may sound a little bit out there for some of you, I will make it simple and practical for you. To turn towards the light, you have to turn away from darkness. This means not dwelling on the negatives, repeating the bad news, replaying the negative events, or wallowing in sorrow and self-pity. To turn towards the light is to search for it doesn't happen automatically. It takes conscious effort, an effort many people are not willing to make. Some people voluntarily accept a life of suffering instead of trying to improve it. 
They think misery must somehow be part of life. To find that light, we have to accept that darkness is part of life. Sometimes more, sometimes very little. We can't pretend that it doesn't exist, but we can also not allow it to take over. We often don't recognize how easily light can come in. We get so caught up in darkness that we lose our way. Yet, letting light in can start with very simple things. Calling a friend, for example. I know I've done it many times. I have simply forgotten about my friends. In all the drama and the self-pity, wondering why nobody texts me, it doesn't occur to me that my best friends are only a phone call away. They cannot guess what's going on with me. But they would drop everything that they're doing if I picked up the phone and came to them with my darkness. That is why they're my friends. Reading a great book is another avenue in a different direction away from darkness. It takes the focus off from ourselves and it helps change our perspective. If you're an avid reader like me, have you noticed how much less you read in times of darkness? All our energy is devoted to staying in darkness. When right there next to us, on top of the nightstand, there is a small reminder that the road towards light is only a few pages away. Spending time in nature. Nature is accessible for all of us. If not right outside your house, then probably not very far away. We take nature for granted. Consider it as pretty decoration to our manicured lives. When nature really was here first, was there before us and will be there after us. Nature is source, and we can always come to it when our artificial lives seem to swallow us. Nature is so much bigger than our little world. It has answers ready for us when we have questions. It shows us how life always goes on, despite the many obstacles it also puts out. Just look at the little flowers that grow in the cracks between cement blocks, or the change of leaves and fall that occur without anyone managing anything. Nature shows us how the impossible is possible, how we can let go, and how much more we can achieve if we just try a little harder. And lastly, helping someone in need. There are always people in greater need than us. And the best way, inward, towards a light you might not be able to see, is to extend graciousness towards another person. It means taking the higher road when your friend is angry, complimenting someone on a word well spoken or a deed well done, buying someone a coffee who may need one, or volunteering your time without any benefit for yourself. Sometimes the light within us begins to shine when we focus less on our needs and more on those of others. The wound is the place where the light enters you. Allow yourself to be inspired by this quote today. Whatever wound is bothering you at the moment, take a look at it. Examine it. It's calling at you. It wants your attention. It needs addressing. So let's take care of it now before it gets bigger and unbearable. Before dark thoughts enter our mind, such as those that let others to end their lives. Let's not allow it to get that far. Let's look for the light and let's let it in. Much love.